Uh, thank you, Dr. Wallach, for taking my call. Yes, sir. What's up? Uh, I have uh, been diagnosed with uh, stenosis of the spine okay. uh, several years back, Dr. Wallace, and uh, have suffered severely uh, over the years. And uh, I take uh, oxycodone uh, for to get relief to be able to to be mobile. Okay. And I would just like to be able to. I've been turned down by uh, three different major um, neurosurgeons uh, here in the Little Rock area. That's um, uh, said they couldn't do me any good. Well, that, you're a very lucky man. You're a very lucky man. They turned you down because they normally, when they try to deal with this kind of problem, they will paralyze you and make you permanently cripple. So it's a good thing God is in your favor when they admitted they couldn't help you. Okay? And so how much do you weigh, sir? I weigh 210. Okay. And how tall are you? Six foot, six foot tall. Okay. Do you have any other issues I need to worry about? Anything like diabetes, high blood pressure? Uh, uh, not, not diabetes. I have a little bit of high blood pressure, but very, very, very minimum. Yeah, well, it's kind of like pregnancy. The is or you ain't, so a little bit's as bad <laughs> as a lot. Okay. Then I have to ask you, do you have any skin problems over the years? Any eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, rosacea, any redness on your cheeks or anything like that? No, I have. Uh, I'm very easily bruised. Uh, just okay. my hands and arms bruise very, very easily. And uh, I, of course, I took uh, uh, blood thinners for uh, for a long time. Uh, Are you still on uh, blood thinners? Uh, no, sir, I'm not okay. on blood thinners now. Okay. Do you ever have any history of um, chronic bronchitis or asthma as a kid? I have had asthma. Yes, sir. I have been diagnosed with asthma and. Uh, I use an uh, inhaler. Uh, you daily. still use inhalers? But yes, sir, I do use an inhaler. But uh, okay. I don't have any problems. Well, guess what? Even okay, well, I... okay, we got to run to one of those message moments. I already have your problem, Carl. Now, the fact that you've been using inhalers for asthma tells me when you look at the at the um, side effects of these drugs and the inhalers, uh, which are tend to be uh, steroids. Um, is, of course, osteoporosis. When you have spinal stenosis, this is a manifestation of severe chronic osteoporosis, and you're getting an overgrowth of bone matrix, which narrows the fecal canal where the spinal cord goes down through, and you're narrowing the uh, canals in between the vertebrae where the spinal nerves exit from the spinal cord. So whether it's uh, the, the spinal nerves or the spinal cord itself that's being impinged upon is due to osteoporosis. So here we go. Uh, the fact that you have asthma says that you're gluten intolerant. I want you to get a hold of that CD called Serial Killers. You must listen to that. Uh, you need to listen to it. It's about 45 minutes. You need to listen to it like 16 times so you know all the sources of gluten. It's everywhere. But you're going to have to change your life if we're to be successful here. Uh, no gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, or oats in any form. No wheat, barley, rye, or oats in any form. No fried foods. Because of the danger of the uh, trans fatty acids, heterocyclic amines, and acrylamides of inflaming your arteries and other tissues, but also they roll the shrimp and chicken and whatever else there is they're frying in wheat to fry them. And then um, there you have to give up um, processed meats with nitrates and nitrites. The nitrates and nitrites also inflame arteries and other tissues, but also they use wheat as filler in the sausage type things like uh, pastrami, pepperoni, salami, bologna, etc. Then you have to give up oils. That means absolutely no margarine, mayonnaise, salad dressing, cooking oils. If you eat canned fish, you've got to be uh, packed in water, mustard, tomato sauce, not oil. No carbonated drinks with meals. An hour before, during, and an hour afterwards this is absolutely imperative because you cannot be neutralizing your stomach acid and expect to be absorbing minerals. Then uh, 200 pounds, I want you to have two healthy start packs per month. That will allow you to have one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, two scoops of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner, three of the EFA Plus as a breakfast and dinner. I would like you to get a hold of an extra quart of the Osteo FX Plus. You can have a third ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at bedtime with a glass of water. I do want you to get the 15 glucogel a day, five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner, these capsules. That will require two of the large 240-count bottles of glucogel capsules. And then... Uh, for the high blood pressure, I want you to take the Ultimate Daily Tablets. Ultimate Daily Tablets. I want you to take three of those nine times a day. It has multiples of purposes here. Three at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner. That will be two bottles a month of the Ultimate Daily Tablets. They will support healthy blood flow through even blocked arteries and support remote healthy blood pressure. And um, let's see here. <clears throat> also, 
I would like you to, for the asthma, make sure you get an extra bottle of the EFAs. It's a large 180-count bottle, and I want you to take three of those twice a day. That's in addition to the three EFA pluses twice a day. Now, for anti-inflammatory purposes, I want you to take our CM cream and apply that to your back, uh, wherever the spinal stenosis is located, whether it's in your lumbar area or up in the thoracic area in between your shoulder blades or in your neck. Um, wherever, wherever you have stenosis, I want you to either yourself or have somebody else apply lavish amounts of the CM cream. So you might go through four bottles a month of the wide mouth jars of the CM cream to pull this off. You'll have very quickly relief. might even give you better relief than you think is getting rid of the swelling around the bases of those nerves. Call me every two weeks, Carl, and give me an update.